This is Randy Fairfield, and I'm a Google Certified Trainer, and I have partnered with Carla to help create a digital punch card system. Uh, I know for a number of salons and barber shops, they have a buy nine, get the tenth one free type punch card system, and sometimes it takes a lot of time to go through those cards if you're storing them yourself or if your customer is carrying those cards around with them, sometimes they lose them. So it can be kind of a pain. There's plus just all that paper trail, and especially now with all this COVID stuff going on, eliminating the paper and stuff that you've got to touch and going digital could be helpful. So this is what I've created, and I'd like to share with you how it works. So all you've got to do is you'll have a site that looks just like this, and only you will have the link to that site so this information isn't public out on the web. Uh, we can set this site to be an internal tool that only you would be able to see. And what you would do is let's pretend that Carla came into your uh, salon and wanted to get a haircut. Uh, you would simply come over here into the search and type in Carla. If you know she's already been a customer before, you can triple click, copy, and then paste in here and submit this form. You can click here and submit another form. Maybe your daughter came in and you want to have them on the sa under the same name. You can sub sub uh, submit again here with the same name. All right, then it shows here if you reload the page, uh, it will update the number of punches. So I've reloaded the page and now you can see Carla has 12 punches to her name. Okay, now if it was a totally new customer, instead of being able to search and look and see if they're already in the system, um, you could just come in and type their name as well. It's not case sensitive, so if you typed it in all caps or typed it in small caps, uh, it wouldn't make a difference. So once that's submitted and the page is reloaded, uh, the punch cards will, will update here. Um, so yeah, coming over here to the search uh, and looking for um, a customer is the way to go. And then just triple clicking, copying and pasting over. That makes sure that you get the spelling right. But what if you got it wrong? Uh, what if you messed up the spelling when you were submitting customers' names? Maybe you put in Carly Jones instead of Carla Jones, and we hit submit here. Um, and then your customer comes in and they say, um, you know, I know I've got this many punches, and um, it says that you've said that I've only got this many. Um, you can do some searches and see here. So you could type in Carly, and you'd see that. Carla, you'd see that. You could also just kind of look and see they're close together in the spelling um, and you need to fix that mistake. So what you would do is you would come over here to the source sheet and this is where all the data from the punch card is pulling from and you'd want to be able to come in here and edit this sheet. So you can see the last few entries have all been Carla Carly. Uh, I'd come in here, double click and just type the, na the correct name here. And now, when I reloaded this up again, you can see here that uh, they're now together as one. So the source sheet is where you would go to correct any spelling mistakes. Now, you also uh, want to make sure that you don't ever come over here and delete a row to delete out an entry. You can right click out on a number and then delete a row. And what will happen is it'll create a delay in the punch card system so that when you refresh it, there'll be a timeout error that occurs, and we just don't want that to happen. Uh, it'll fix after 15 seconds or so, but the best way to just delete out an entry that you put in that you don't want is to come over here and just type in the word delete every single time, um, and that won't throw off the rows at all. So if there's ones that you need to delete out, you can just go in there and do it in that way, and that's the best way to make your punch card system continue to work perfectly. Um, it will leave an entry in here called delete and you can see that, but that's not a super big deal. So that's my best suggestion on how to take an entry out. Um, these punch card systems are really helpful for customers and loyalty. And you know, when you're on your eighth punch, you're like, I might as well go back there again, get the ninth one, get the 10th one free. Um, so this is what uh, I've put together for you. Now, uh, when you get a copy of this system, if you sign up for it, uh, what you would get is this punch card and the source sheet, as well as this video that I'm making right now under the tutorial tab. That way, if you have a future employee that you want to train on how to use this, uh, they could simply click right here on tutorial and they could watch this video that I've just made. Um, you won't see the feedback or buy it now links. I'll leave those off of there. 
Um, but I do, I would appreciate as you check out this demo site, uh, if you clicked on this feedback form here and left me some feedback about what you'd like or what you'd like to see change, uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, there is a $50 one-time charge to get this all set up and it's good for life. So um, just know that. And most other places that are out there are charging between $5, $40 a month uh, in order to get these digital punch cards things going. Uh, I'm working with Carla and I, we thought that $50 price point would be a real low cost option that would work for you. So I hope that that works. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. All right, take care.